This video is not to make $15,000 in airdrop by setting up and running a Babylon chain test node step by step. I have the most required for this video on this channel and here is it. But the first question we need to answer is why do you need to set up a test node? And the answer, if you are farming airdrops for projects that has its own chain, test node operators receives the most airdrop. For reference, tier test node operators received over $10,000, GRT over $25,000, and MENA over $80,000. This is why other test users received below $2,000. And all this is before the token started pumping. Now, project developers need test node operators to enable them test the project for any vulnerability before going minute and they are willing to reward handsomely for that. Babylon is a new Cosmos project that aims to enhance the security of Cosmos zones and other POS chain by leveraging the security of Bitcoin. Babylon has already raised over $18 million from VCs, including Polychain Capital, HackVC, OKX Ventures, and a host of others. And Bitcoin holders can benefit from Babylon because with Babylon, Bitcoin holders can end yield from their idle Bitcoin in a secure way, no third party, no Bitcoin bridging to other chains, Bitcoin holders simply lock their Bitcoin in a self-custodial way to gain the right to validate POS chain and end yield as a return. Now, this is huge as it has not been done before and considering that Bitcoin remains the most secure network and the most centralized and the Bitcoin ETF, if Babylon successfully goes mainnet, this airdrop to test load operators could be worth between $10,000 to $20,000 at the initial price. So you see that it's important you have a node. And for this tutorial, I will do it the way I do it. We'll do the theory first, then we'll go straight to the practical. So if you're ready, let's get started. To start, what do you need? The system requirement to run a Babylon chain test node is 4 core CPU, 8 gig RAM, and 50 gig NVMe or 200 gig SSD. You don't need to go and get a physical system with this requirement because even if you get it, you might not be able to keep the system online 24 seven. So the first thing we need is a VPS, virtual private server. And there are two that I recommend. We have Contable. Contable is $12.5 a month and Aza is $25 per month. If you're using Contable, the first payment you made is about $21 because there is a setup fee of about $8. And for this tutorial, we're going to be using Contable. The next thing you need is Putty or Clan. When I first set up my Babylon node, I used Putty. Now guys, it was a lot of work because I used a Mac. You can just install Putty in your Mac. There's a lot of technical things you have to do that requires to get a developer or you just install window into your mac and install putty if you have window you just install putty straight away but the thing is that even if you install putty there's a lot you still have to do because most articles you see online talks about putty let me show you what i mean if you're using putty for example you have to start entering different lines of code it is straightforward, but it might be strange to you and you don't know what you're doing. So that is why I decided not to use Putty for this video. So for this tutorial, we're going to use Clan. It's simple and easy to use. Next thing is a computer, either a Mac or a Windows. Anyone is fine with this particular software. What Clan and Putty does is to help you to load Babylon Chain to your server. Now, you also need a Discord. Go and get one if you don't have one. And you need a note name. I'm calling this one for this video collective because you and I are doing it together. So it is a collective effort. So that is all we need. So what is the process? The first step is to set up your VPS account, go there, create an account and do all that. I'll leave the link in the description for you to sign up to any of the one I recommended. 
then you download plane to your laptop and you load babylon to your vps using plane then send test phone to your wallet using this code so you just enter i faucet your wallet address and you receive the test token to your wallet and finally what you do next is to wait for the airdrop announcement to claim your airdrop so this is the theory now let's get to the practical so you're going to go ahead and create an account with contabo and this is the option we are going to select option 2 cloud vps2 it is 12.5 dollars a month it's six cpu core what we need is four cpu core and this is six so it's more than our requirement 16 gig ram more than our requirements 400 gig ssd and we need just 200 so this is more than our requirements we cannot use this because this is 6 gig ram and our requirement is 8 gig ram so go ahead and click on this and make payments now once you make payments wait for like 10 minutes for your vps to be created it doesn't get created immediately it takes about 10 minutes for that to be done once that is done come back to this point and click your service or a vps control you are going to see this note that when you are creating your vps account you must have entered your password note that password down so we're going to click on manage here now when you come to manage you can actually reset your password if you want to reset your password you can just move your vps to a different region so i'm going to select germany uh, my vps is already in germany so i'm fine with that so this is your vps here is your ip address on the server and the password you entered when creating this server is your password this is all i need from this vps and my password so the next step is to download and install plan now once you've done that you are going to see this so go ahead and click on dive in here and i want to look for babylon and i'll click on install and i'm going to enter my ip address here so i'll go back to my vps so i'll go back to my vps and copy this ip address then go back to clean to download clean you can download it from clean.run i'll leave this in the description i'll go ahead and paste this ip address that i've copied enter the password i use in creating the accounts and i click on this so this is now installing babylon into my server I'll give you time to load to 100%. A few moments later. The Babylon chain installation is done on our VPS. I'm going to click on dive in. And right now, the syncing is going on. So I'm going to wait for this to sync. Now, why this is syncing? Let's look at some things. If you go to validator operation and go down, what I want us to do is to create our wallet. So click on wallet, then add your wallet name. So I'm going to call this collective. Click on create. Now this is showing me my secret phrase. So anybody that has this has access to your wallet. So make sure you keep this safe. And if you lose it, you might not be able to get it back. So keep this safe. That is your secret phrase. Now my wallet is created and this is my wallet address. I can click here to copy my wallet address. And while we're doing that, you see that the sync is complete. We are now operating a node. So congratulations. If you've gotten to this level, you're now on a node. And when the airdrop drops, you can get an airdrop. But next thing we'll do is to go to Discord. We have created our wallet address. So I'm going to copy this wallet. I'll go to Babylon Chain Discord. I'll leave you the link to go to their Discord in the description. So this is the Babylon Chain Discord. Now, when you are in the discord if you go to get a role make sure that you click on this one that says tech click on it that is the most important one if you want to get the test token if you click on it then this section is going to appear now i click on this and this and one other one but for test notes you have to make sure you click on this then when you are here you click on faucet then you type this file set their wallet address all right so when we do that we now it says sending to this please wait for confirmation now make sure you wait for confirmation sometimes so just write failed failed so if, if it fails you try again okay i can see that 
yeah so this is successful so i, I have successfully cut in my token now if i go back to to my wallet and i hover over the wallet i should see 1.1 billion token so i have a token now now to become a validator where we go to is this the truth is that you cannot become a valid validator at this point because if you go to this website babylonchain.guru forward slash validators you can see for active validators there are 80 active validators at this point it cannot go beyond 80 validators if you come to inactive validators there are over 9,000 inactive validators um, this is because there cannot be more than 80 active validators so if you go to the next process the only thing that is going to guarantee you is that maybe your nail will be shown in the inactive validators but beyond that you cannot be a validator but that's okay because you don't need to be a validator to be able to get reward for partaking in the test node so this is the video guys now bear chain is hot i talked about it in my last cosmos airdrop video i'll be making a video on how to farm the bear chain airdrop if you want me to make a video on how to set up the bearer chain node as well let me know in the comment section and i'll do another video for that and lastly note that this video is not financial advice there are no guarantees in crypto always do your research before investing see you in the next video